Hey girls, Kim Barnes Waterman here. Have you ever heard the scripture from the Song of Solomon, take us the foxes, the little foxes that spoil the vineyards of our love? Okay, I have. I love the book of the Song of Solomon. And there is biblical counsel that you will find all over in the secular world. You can go to the secular medical community and they'll tell you, take care of your illness when it's small. Take care of that disease before it grows, okay? You can go to the secular counselors and they'll tell you, take care of that attitude before it comes big, right? Deal with that little bit of anger before it becomes explosive. And that is secular counselors lining up with biblical principles. I love when that happens. Okay, take us the foxes, the little foxes that spoil the vineyards of our love. You and I know that we have to deal with our stuff before it becomes major issues. You and I know that we have ungodly beliefs. We have attitudes in our hearts. We have hurts from the past that we need to take care of before they become major strongholds in our lives. Every fox starts out as a baby and it feeds and it grows and it grows and then it becomes dangerous. It's not so dangerous when it's a baby. They're kind of cute, okay? They're not too intimidating, but when we, they become big foxes, they become dangerous and they can do a lot of damage. So today, let's just remember, the secular world will tell you the same thing, but from the Word of God, let's deal with our little attitudes, our little problems, our little, uh, our little sins that we're just kind of petting along, and let's um, get right with God, and let's confess our sin, and let's um, bring everything before the Lord so that we can fulfill the scripture, taking the foxes, those little foxes that are spoiling the vineyards of our love, because you and I don't want anything between us and Jesus. And we'd rather, rather fight a little fox than a big fox. All right, when you're fighting your foxes today, remember, God goes before you. He sets a guard at your rear. He covers you with his hand. And underneath you, lady, are his everlasting arms. You're never, ever gonna walk through this life alone. I'll see you next time.